I love it so much. It's the best. Mm -hmm. Well, besides mine. Better. No, mine's best. And then now we're sucking the white. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> and then we're all done. Today's a little different. I made a bracelet generator and it's time to roll some numbers. So we're going to be picking three colors. We picked blue, light yellow, and then teal. Now it's time to move on to charms. Let's see what we get. We got shell. All right, let's go ahead and pick out our colors. So again, we got blue and I'm using this blue here. I think it's the prettiest. And then this teal and then this yellow. It looks brighter, but I promise it's actually really light. Gonna go ahead and cut our string and then we're gonna thread it to the eye of the needle and use my bead spinner. This was a little trickier just because I didn't have a ton of beads in there. We filled it up and we're gonna measure it. But this is kind of a fun process. I've actually really liked using the generator so far. I'm gonna put pearls and then our shell charm. After putting those on, it's time to tie it and then we just tie it a bunch of times. And then we're gonna stretch it out to make sure it's good. And then cut it. It reminds me of the little mermaid, but yeah, I'm excited to do more of these. This listing is now live on my Etsy if you guys want to join. Today, we we're packing an order for my cousin, but this is actually a surprise. My uncle messaged me saying he wants to get something for his daughter, aka my cousin. It is actually perfect timing because we just opened our new launch, and so he picked some things out that he thinks she would like, and I totally agree with his choices. So we gathered everything up. We got all our packing supplies. We're gonna pack these two together. We actually just got new packaging which is so exciting it's so fun. We're gonna put these two together and since it's a set we're gonna staple it. I accidentally did the staple too high but it's okay so we're gonna cover it with a sticker. Write our thank you note and I love this but it's so sparkly. Then we're gonna get our freebies together, little thank you cards, some stickers, a high chew, and I actually have to show you what I made. I made this little cute coupon but on the back which you guys see is a little thing you could hang up for your wall collage and I'm gonna change it out every month. You guys can get like a little nice collection and I'm gonna be putting them out too. Anyway, so we put everything in the bag. We're gonna take off that sticker, seal it up, put more stickers on, but I'm excited for my cousin. Also, glad she doesn't have TikTok so she can't see this. Let's package an order today. First, this is my bucket of strings. I actually always have to touch it when I see it. But it's right next to the string, and the string is actually what we have to use for this order. We're grabbing all our bags that we need. This one is fun. The order we have today is for a returning customer, and she is so sweet and so nice. She leaves the nicest reviews. I seriously love her. Anyway, she ordered five bags of bee confetti, and I have this much to in there. I'm gonna wear it, but maybe I should just start hiding random stuff in my bee confetti. We're sticking in more charms because we can but we're just gonna be scooping up those bags there's a reason why i'm not showing me filling up all five bags and it's because i was struggling so hard bees were flying everywhere anyway she asked for extra string so that's what we're gonna give her we're gonna give her a lot of string i'm gonna take this and wrap it around and around and around this is a called a jewelry holder for those who ask and i know you guys will you guys can get these off of Amazon for super cheap. But yeah, they're just made out of cardboard. They're good. They're nice. I put a sticker over it to hide the staple. Moving on to the surprise bracelet she picked out. And these bracelets I actually have discounted. So all my other bracelets are $5. These ones are $4 because I get to pick them out. But it's fun. It's kind of like a surprise blind bag a little bit. But look at this sticker and this sticker. I think they're both cute and kind of funny. The little sun's a little creepy, but like good creepy. Anyways, we're going to start sticking everything in. And I tried shoving everything in, but it does not fit. So we have to use a bigger bag. Go ahead and package everything up. You stick the little SoCo sticker on. And then after we're done with that, I'm gonna go ahead and play with the other stuff.
letter size. We're gonna start off by putting on that six millimeter size and then we're gonna get our letter B T for Taylor and then that small four millimeter pearl and then that S. And then a big tip I messed up on this once is making sure that your letter beads are facing the same way. But it's so cute, I love the pattern. Anyways, we're gonna measure it. This was actually a little short, all my bracelets that I sell and make are six and a half inches. This size can fit about an eight-year-old girl to basically up if you're female. Guys typically have a little thicker wrist. But after that size is good, I'm gonna go ahead and tie it. And this is real time of me actually tying it. I'm gonna it. just do a granny knot at first, and then I'm gonna cross an X, put it through the hole again. But instead of pulling it tight, I'm gonna take that same side and put it through the hole again then pull it tight this is called the surgeon's knot and i feel like it makes it a little sturdy then we're gonna run it back and do the same thing make an x put it through the loop instead of pulling it tight we're gonna put it through the loop again and then pull to kind of finish it off i like doing a granny knot at the end and just making you know a basic knot we do x through the loop and pull after we pull it kind of tight, we're going to get some scissors, cut it close to the knot, but not on the knot. These are seriously so cute. Guys, let me know what I should do next. Bye! You're joking. You're joking.
Fingers fall off. Guess you didn't cheat, but you're still a traitor. I got my driver's license last week. It's always one step forward and three steps back. Do you get the job from when she's with you? you you're happy, healthy, not me. Cause all I ever wanted was to be.
my thoughts while making a bracelet. Why did nobody tell me that play beats in a beat spinner was so hard? I can barely even get the beads. These colors don't go well together. This bracelet is so ugly. I'm scared that the beads will go flying. These colors are so bad it's not even funny. Oh well. I'm not going to use these beads anyway, so mind as well use them for at least something. Time to tie. I hope it doesn't break. Here is a tutorial on how to attach the clip. Here is what you will need. Start by cutting a long piece of string. Then make your bracelet. Now take this piece and attach it to one side. It should look like this. Now do the same thing to the other side. Then you want to clamp it down so that the string is tight. And now do it to the other side. Now take this ring and open it. Then attach it like this. Now take the clip and put it on the ring. Then close the ring so it doesn't fall off. Now cut the access string. Then you are done. Here is how to clip it. Let me know if you have any questions. 3.